I got tired of using the little pot that's over here to the right for water. So I picked up a water today, a five gallon water for the chicks. Hopefully I won't have to fill it three times a day now. <laughs> they seem to approve, except they keep trying to tap at the sticker that's on the front of it. <laughs> it's got a it's got a Rhode Island red chicken on there too. <laughs> I don't like it. <clears throat> make a trip to town today and pick up some legitimate steaks. Um, and then some ribeye steaks too, because they're on sale. <laughs> and then my goal for today is to get that entire thing framed up and ready to go uh, for drilling holes for sauna tubes. And I'll try and get one hole drilled. I got, a, I got an old post hole digger that Brother Will gave me. Um, that I want to try out today because it looks pretty fun. It looks like a giant kind of screw that goes into the ground that you manually use. I'll show you later on, but it's pretty cool. <clears throat> Getting a slow start here. My last official day of vacation. Uh, I have to go back to work on Monday. I, I got a lot done. I didn't get as much done as I wanted to, but man, I got relaxed. I got rested, and that's important. All right. <clears throat> I picked up a eight inch sauna tube form um, so that I can get an idea of what size I want. I also picked up one of these so I can get a size of or an idea of where exactly I have to have my string lines at. And then this three quarter inch nipple. So what will happen is I'll pour it full of concrete. This is not the size I'm using, but I'll pour it full of concrete. I'll stick the nipple down into it. And then this will go inside the nipple. I'll leave the plastic on there so that the concrete doesn't come up through the tube. And then I'll slide this down in there and this is adjustable. So the washer goes on this side uh, and then I can adjust it as needed. Looks like I've got, oh, probably about three, three and a half inches of play that I can adjust it in. So if there's any uh, shuffling of the foundation when it's done, it'll be adjustable so that I can tighten everything up and bring everything back to where it needs to be. Um, so I also picked up some stakes. I'm going to redo, I'm not going to redo the lines themselves. I'm going to redo the batter boards that I have over there because I don't like how that's working. I got the right size screws as well. Um, and then I picked up a brand new, couple of brand new line, uh, uh, line levels because I wasn't really comfortable with that other one. It looked like it had been bent a couple of times. So I'm going to go, go ahead and do that and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like when I'm finished. Um, I am going to set these batter boards up closer to the ground. Uh, because the only measurement that I'm really interested in right now anyway is where the sauna tubes are going to be so I can start digging holes.
that was frustrating. I didn't realize until I got to the third corner that I was lying out the corners wrong. <laughs> so I had to go back and, and move some lines. But I've got it pretty darn close to where it needs to be now. And one of the things I'm seeing here is where I'm off. So I'm looking down, straight down these lines here. My eyes are terrible. But let me bring the camera over here and show you what I'm talking about. Well, I'll bring the cell phone camera over and show you what I'm talking about because it'll be easier to show there. There's a nail right there is the tip of the nail. And that cross needs to be right over the top of that nail. So I'm going to need to adjust these corners here. Go over and look at this one. There's the nail, right? Yeah, same thing. I'm gonna need to adjust a couple of these corners here. This one's pretty darn close here. Nail is right there. And those nails are exactly at the corners of the building. I found those when I originally pulled this whole thing. Oh, that one's pretty darn close too, right there. So it looks like, yeah, so I'm not that far off at all right now. Um, a little bit off on this corner and a little bit off on that corner. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust those by moving these nails a little bit each direction uh, to get them lined up exactly where they need to be. Uh, this line over the top on this one is a little bit that way, so I need to move that down a little. Um, and then same thing over there. Um, and, and even with those being off a little bit on those two corners, those actual where they meet, and I showed you with the cell phone there, um, I'm not off by more than a half an inch anywhere on the diagonals here. So it's just minute little little adjustments that are going to get me right where I need to be. Um, and it's really, really important to have those exact because I'm going to run the lines next um, right here for the sauna tubes. Right, so my sauna tubes are going to be in there, and then I'm going to mark where the sauna tubes are going to go. And those need to be super, super accurate and deadly straight so that when I, when I put those things into the ground, fill them with concrete, mount the hardware on top of them, I can just drop the beam right on and they will be perfectly straight. Normally I'd complain about the wind, but it's like 75 degrees and it feels so nice. I mean, as fast as I'm sweating, it's evaporating right off. There we go. I had to make sure I had everything turned on. So, I'm not going with a sauna tube this deep. I'm going with one probably that deep, but it's going to stick out a lot more. The reason why I have the sauna tube here is because I need to get a measurement from uh, the outside of the building to the center of the hole that I have to dig because if I want to skirt this down the road, it'll look a lot nicer if I skirt it with the sauna tubes in underneath. So I'll actually have a little bit of overhang um, over, the ex over the two exterior girders, beams, floor beams. So it'll, it'll extend out just a little bit over that, but that will mean that if I go to do any siding on the outside when I'm done eventually, um, the sauna tube will be in. I mean, if, if I put it on the line, right, I'm going to have half the sauna tube in and half the sauna tube outside of the footprint of the cabin. So 
get that measurement, again, I'm going to cheat, and I'm going to go, okay, I guess I could do it an easier way. So I'm going to go with five inches for the center of the hole. Um, and this is an eight inch sauna tube. And for those of you guys that are curious, after talking with Ward, um, I could just go straight concrete on this because so much of it's going to be below the surface. I don't need to worry about uh, rebar, you know, putting steel in it because it is a small uh, footprint. Uh, and I'm not a contractor, so with what Ward told me, I'm going to run one piece of rebar down the middle. <laughs> Whether I need it or not. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tie those off right now. Um, get those lined up and then I'm going, to, I'm going to play around and try and put the first hole in uh, with, that, with those tools that I have. So we'll give that a shot um, after I'm done doing all this, but that's probably going to be it for this week's video. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Sean in Alaska and slowly but surely, as much of an idiot as I feel doing this, it's it's... I'm starting to feel more comfortable with it. Once I get past this stage and we get to the point where I'm, I'm nailing boards and I, I'm putting those beams in place and I'm nailing boards, I'll feel much more confident. Um, until, of course, I get to the roof part. Because <laughs> I've never built a roof either. Two lines. The outside line is the outside of the cab, and the inside line is center of the sauna tubes. That line in the middle is the sauna tubes going up the middle. And then I've got the same double lines over there. The inside line is the center of the sauna tubes. The outside line is the uh, exterior of the cabin. There we go. Right, this is a crazy coastal issue. And I need to try and dig the first hole. So, I am going to get this thing started. Wow, this thing's a heck of a lot easier than using a regular digger, I'll tell you that.
is an old tool. And this is a beautiful sign because I'm hitting gravel already. <clears throat> That's awesome. That is wonderful. I got a hole, I got a bunch of holes to dig now. Now that I know that I don't have as far to go down as I thought, I'll still go down about two feet. It's two and a half feet. That was about five minutes, 10 minutes worth of work. I'm not kidding you when I say that that just saved me so much money, it's ridiculous because I don't have to rent a piece of equipment now. I can, I can dig every one of these holes by hand. That is awesome. Well, you know I gotta try, right? I mean, that's crazy. That is crazy. And let me show you this. So this will rest on top of the concrete. So it'll actually be up a little higher. And this is adjustable. This is awesome. This is so incredible. So incredible. Nice. Nice. feet deep each this one somehow I ended up a little bit off got back in the middle on that one got back in the middle on that one so I'm gonna have to pretty much widen that hole a bit to get it where it needs to be but I'm not worried about lining up perfectly right now uh, I'll do that when I get ready to pour the concrete and I line all the all the tubes and the and the pieces up that go with them so that took me to do both those holes maybe about 15 minutes Yeah, see, I don't know what I was thinking. I think maybe uh, when I started, the blade kind of drifted off a bit when I got started. <clears throat> this one's pretty darn close. And this one's pretty darn close as well. Nice. Piles of dirt. I'm excited about that. All right, I'm going to take a break here because I'm not going to do them all in one shot. Uh, go grab myself a Gatorade. Keep myself hydrated while I'm doing this. We've been in the 70s for the last few days. And... Uh, we're supposed to be in the 70s for the next week, week and a half, mid 70s to high 70s. Um, one thing I sure don't want to have to deal with is dehydration because I've gone through that once before and it is not a fun thing to have happen. <laughs>
<laughs> that was cool though. That was fun. I got to throw some batteries in the camera too.